Yo, what's up guys? Today we're ranking the best and worst drafts of this 22 NFL draft. Let's get straight into it. All right, the team that I thought had the best draft was the Ravens. The Ravens got Kyle Hamilton, although they traded away Marquise Brown. They got a great center in Tyler Linderbaum, and they somehow found a way to get David Ajabo in the second round and Travis Jones. Those are all good, great players. They got a good development player in Daniel Falalele. They got Isaiah Likely, who fell really far for being one of the best tight ends in this draft class, I thought, and Tyler Batty. Tyler Batty was so good, but there were so many great running backs in this draft class. I'm surprised how good the Ravens pick. Even though the Ravens, the Ravens usually pick great, but this is an amazing draft for the Ravens because they got two of the best players. They got the best center in the draft. They got the best safety, and they got uh, David Ojabo. Even though David Ojabo tore his Achilles in his pro day, I think he's going to be something amazing with this uh, Ravens team. This is the best draft out of everybody. That's a great job. I give this draft an A+. All right, the next great draft I got is the New York Jets. They got Sauce Garner, Garrett Wilson in the same, in the both in the same first round. They got a, a great cornerstone corner and a great wide receiver while getting Jermaine Johnson and Brees Hall. Yeah, I thought Jermaine Johnson was going to be like a top 15 pick, but he dropped to number 26 and the Jets some traded up just to get him. That was an amazing choice by the Jets. Also, they got a great running back who I think would be like a Le'Veon Bell type running back in the in the future. Jeremy Brockett was a kind of an iffy pick, I thought, but he was, still has a lot of upside, and I think he could be a great player here. This draft is so great. They got so many great players in this draft. They already got the line. They just uh, just need to put all the pieces together. And so I think the Jets had the second best draft in this draft class, and it's not even close. The third best draft I had is from the Eagles. The Eagles. They got Jordan Davis, and not, not to mention they traded away their first round pick just to get AJ Brown. That's the basically a, like drafting a first round wide receiver that's already proven. He's got the big contract, and you pretty much solidified your both wide receiver in one and wide receiver two with a uh, Devontae Smith and AJ Brown there. While getting Jordan Davis, you got a great center in Cam Jurgens. I'm surprised how how far uh, Nakobe Dean fell. Nakobe Dean fell so far because he had some um injury issues but he was rejected to be like a top 15 pick but he fell he fell to the third round to the eagles and that's an amazing pick for them that's the steal of the draft the kobe dean just just the fact you got aj brown and jordan davis at the same time makes it just like an a plus draft already and you got cam jergens who's a great developmental center with the kobe dean who's amazing uh linebacker they pretty much solidified that defense that defense is looking great with nicobe dean and adding jordan davis on that side and adding aj brown will have a add another red to that offense with a uh, jalen hurts at uh at your quarterback i would give the eagles a, a great a plus all right it's time to look at some of the the more worst drafts that um happened this draft and uh the, the first one i got is the washington commanders if you wanted if they wanted to go wide receiver they, they could have picked uh, like chris olave they could have had jameson williams but they traded down for uh, Jahan Dotson. I think that's kind of a reach for Jahan Dotson. For Darren Mathis, I think he's going to be good, but I don't think he's going to be good right now. For the third round pick, they picked Brian Robinson. They already got Antonio Gibson. They didn't need another running back, really. But I like the pick with uh, Sam Howell. Cole Turner was great. Chris Paul was also great. But Jahan Dotson, I give this draft a, like a C to like a C minus because you didn't need to trade back. To, even though they got some more picks, they didn't really pick the right players, I don't think. Could have gone any of the great wide receivers. They had the choice from Chris Olave. They had the choice from Jamison Williams. Traylon Burks, there was also there. But they traded down and got Jahad Dotson. I'm not saying Jahan Dotson is going to be a, a bad player. But I think you should have picked a player with more upside than Jahan Dotson. And that's like Jamison Williams. Jamison Williams, Chris Olave, or Traylon Burks all have more upside than Jahan Dotson. And I know they like their Alabama players, but I didn't think Federer and Matthew was going to be a great second round pick. What is up with them drafting Alabama players? They drafted a third round running back when they also have Antonio Gibson. They could have went a uh, running back like later on. There's so many great running backs in this draft class. They could have gone corner. They couldn't have gone anywhere else than a uh, running back in the third round. I like the Sam Howell pick. I don't know. I haven't really watched him much about uh, Percy Butler, but um, I heard some good things about him. Cole Turner was a good pick. That was a steal in the uh, sixth round. Chris Paul is good. Better than that, that's um kind of an iffy draft with a reaching on your first round pick, bringing in another running back, which you didn't really need. Yeah, for this pick, I would give the uh, commanders a C minus. The second worst draft in this draft class was uh, the New England Patriots. They reached on Cole Strange from Chattanooga, which you could have gotten in the second or third round. They also got 
Tyquan Thor Thornton when uh, George Pickens was there. I like the Marcus Jones pick. He's really uh, versatile corner slash safety. Jack Jones was also good, but the two running backs is kind of iffy. Because why do you need two running backs? Because you already have Ramon J. Stevenson and um, Damian Harris. There's no need to pick two running backs here. Pierre Strong was a great pick, but Kevin Harris, you didn't really need because you got James White also in this backfield why, why do you need this many of uh, like running backs coming in they needed more linebackers than uh they needed a running back so it kind of, it was kind of a question uh question mark why they they had drafted two running backs bailey zappy was kind of an iffy choice too you already got you already drafted mac jones you, you already have some backers behind him you don't need a young backup um i like andrew strobert he's a really good uh, tackle so the best i can give this draft i think is a c minus maybe it'll get better because maybe uh bill belichick knows more than me about these players but i just think two running backs is kind of iffy when you guys barely have any linebackers and you need like offensive line help so not addressing those two massive needs is uh, a really question mark scratching my head right there so c minus i think the third worst rep is, is the jacksonville jaguars Trayvon Walker at number one, I think shouldn't, he shouldn't have been number one. I don't think drafting from this combine, uh, he jumped up so far just because of his combine. His combine made him like number one. I think Aiden Hutchinson been, should have been number one. Kevin Kayvon Thibodeau, I think, should be an over uh, Trayvon Walker. Trayvon Walker is good. I think he would be like a top 10 pick, but number one is kind of high for him. Also getting two linebackers and Devin Lloyd. Trading up for Devin Lloyd, then also going Chad Mooma was kind of a question mark. While you need a wide receivers for a star quarterback, um, Trevor Lawrence. Getting Luke Fortnier was pretty good but uh no wide receivers is kind of iffy i think bringing in that familiarity for uh trevor lawrence would be a uh, better than uh just bringing in a, a random running back snoop connor they already drafted a running back last year and uh travis etn why do you need a netter running back this man they have J james robinson travis etn you don't need a netter young running back and a uh, snoop connor you could have gone the wide receiver justin ross i know he has some um injury issues but the but the like connection with uh trevor lawrence and uh justin ross would have been amazing i think that would have been a better uh pick right there the cornerback in the last round i don't think it's too much of an issue you did need corner help the best i can give this uh draft is a c but tell me what you think what who do you think has the, the worst draft in this draft class and who had the best but other than that it's it for the video have a good day and peace